we forget that when we were three years old, we used to blame our mom and dad the same way. And we felt the same helplessness. Like mom and dad have all of the power over their experience. Everything that happens in their day mostly happens to them. How they feel inside emotionally, they, they think this is because of you. And the reason why little children blame is because they're nowhere near old enough yet to really understand self-responsibility. The, the most helpful thing for your child, if, if your child is blaming you for being too scolding, um, help your little one to, to say it out loud, to speak it to you. What happened then? Was I, did I, were you scared of me then, son? Okay, I understand that. I still need you to turn off the television. That's all. You don't always have to change what you do. But when, when you help him to speak his feelings, that's what helps him to not be so blaming in the end over the years. And you'll see that he gets stronger. People make the mistake of thinking that it's effective because you know, if I threaten you and lock you up in a room, and if, I, if, if I'm a lot more stronger than you, yes, that will change your behavior. That doesn't mean it changed your attitude at all. Not one single bit. The only thing that happens in solitary detention is I feel, you know, the world is mad at me. I'm ashamed of who I am and I'm angry and I'm lonely and I'm bored and I just can't wait to go out and come out again. And I have no power. When as parents, life is stressing, 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 demanding too much. We work, 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 and no play, no play, no play. Our children react to our stress and they become more difficult. When we get very frustrated as parents and you know, we need the time out. That's a loving thing to do for ourselves. Maybe even, you know what, I'll, I'll go to the bathroom and close the door because I need a moment alone. When you've got, under great pressure, fighting against your children will make everything worse. Uh, but even if you don't accept the behavior, but you accept their emotions, they settle down. And the same is true for you. You settle down when you, somebody accepts your emotions, you settle down too. A lot of children, most children, they are scientists. Enormous curiosity. Oh, you need a rest sometimes. Your, your, your mind wants a rest where you don't want to answer anything. <laughs> but you don't want to suppress your child's passion because this will make your child powerful in the world. This is why you always need person number two and person number three. Round about now is, is, is a good time to begin uh, gradually, little by little, to let your child know the truth about you. That sometimes you get tired and sometimes you don't want to play. That helps your child to get to know you as a real person. Not just a role or an authority, but a real person. That is very empowering for your child. It, it's okay to say, hey, I'll give you one more answer and I really I love how you ask questions. That's good. I like how you ask questions. But I'm starting to get very tired now. I want to rest. I don't want to play anymore. That way you're saying, you're not squashing the passion. You're saying, I like your passion. I just don't want to play right now. Around about 18 months, it's not exact, you know, it doesn't happen suddenly overnight. But round about that time, this is when there's some changes in the child's brain where they start to really notice that there's a difference between you and I. You know, mommy and daddy, you're not just a continuation of 
my own aliveness. You're a separate person. When I'm 18 months, I start to discover I, I'm a person. I'm me. I'm not. There's a distinct, separate person. This is when they start to recognize themselves in the mirror. And that they start to be able to imagine a future. You can't imagine the future when you're, say, 12 months old or six months old. Everything, you know, from 14 months to 20 months, there's big changes. 18 months is the middle of that. And even though the same need for emotional security is still there, but a new need comes in, which is has more to do with their autonomy. They need the freedom to explore the world, to move away from you, and to find their own pleasure without you. The best way to explain it is a circle of security that, that starts off very little and gets bigger. They always come back to mom and dad. And then they go a little bit further and they always come back to mom and dad. Then they go further and they come back to mom and dad. And um, what's important for a toddler, 18 months to 36, is to be allowed to separate at as much as possible at their own pace. Not completely imposed. That one day we drop them off at the care center and walk away and it's a shock. It's um, much better to let that be gradual and to let your children have at least a little bit of control over how quickly they say goodbye. They feel more secure when they say goodbye to you rather than you walk away from them. So it's about freedom of expression, freedom to have your emotions, which are usually very, very messy. The freedom to, for a child to say, no, I don't want to do that. I don't like that game. Uh, no, I, want, I don't want to walk there. No, I don't like carrots. At least the freedom of expression. That's very, very empowering. That doesn't mean you let them do whatever they want. The other thing that they need is a healthy boundary. You can, you can show how you feel, but you're not allowed to scratch. You're not allowed to hurt anybody. You're not allowed to hit. And, uh, and I will stop you if you hit somebody or if you hit yourself. But they still need a strong parent who is solid and asserts a very strong boundary. That, that helps them to keep, to feel safe. Safe to explore the world and be strong in exploring the world. Um, in, in the knowledge that if something gets dangerous or out of hand, or even if I get out of control, my parents or my elders will come and put a boundary line, say, okay, that's enough.